Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. What kind of fruits do you have at your house? Do you have a fruit bowl full of different kinds and colors and flavors? Mmm, so delicious. Fruits are important and they're very healthy for you. So today we're going to paint a fruit bowl. Our materials are primary colors, blue, red, yellow, and then we have the black and white, a paper or canvas, a piece of paper towel, a cup with water, two brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, a pencil, and we're going to use a plate. Let's get started. First, we're going to draw. We're gonna put the plate right in the middle. I have my, my picture horizontally. I'm gonna put the plate right in the middle of the paper. And I'm going to put it a little bit above because I'm going to only draw half of that plate. I'm not gonna draw the whole, I'm not gonna outline the whole plate. So just half of it. Okay, do you see that? I just did half of it. Very good. Now I'm going to make a line across, a little bit below the center. I don't want to be right in the middle, just a little bit below. And then on the other side. So that's it. Now, I actually, I forgot to mention, I also need a cup. So get a cup that is maybe wider on top and then narrower on the bottom. And this will be our mold for our fruits. So I'm gonna make one circle here, outline that cup, and then maybe another one kinda next to it here. See, and then I'll probably just do half. I'll do like a smaller side. I'll do half on the in the back, half of the cup. And then here I'm going to be using. I'm actually going to just make some small circles, and these are going to be my grapes. And I'm going to kind of overlap them. Ooh, this was a really large one. <laughs> I made a huge grape. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm going to make a line across for my bowl, the, the top of my bowl, and I'll just overlap the, the fruits. Don't be afraid to overlap, and then you can erase everything that is in the bottom of that line. I think I went too high on here. So you just go from one end to another and kind of curve it down. Kind of like that. Do you see? And then you can also make some different stems for your fruit. Just a little something sticking out. You can add a leaf if you like. Maybe I'll add a, a, a leaf on this one. This one came with the leaf. So the leaf is pretty much two curved lines. You start at a, the top. Like a, it looks like a triangle, you see? It looks like a triangle. So then you just curve it down, curve it down. And you can make a line in the middle too. All right. And then you can make a little bit of a, like a little comma, a little happy face, um, happy mouth here under the, the stamps. I'm not gonna make a stamp for the back one, just because I don't feel like it. 
All right, very nice. So this is my fruit bowl, and I have a few different fruits here. I have an apple, an orange, and uh, some grapes, and then maybe another apple. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's get started with painting. Now I'm going to get my big brush, wet it a little bit because mine is a little bit hard. Sometimes when it's, it's dry, it's hard. So wet it a little bit and I'm going to start with the background. Now for the background, I'm going to, and this you really can pick any color you like, okay? I'm going to pick yellow for my background. So you can do any color you like. So just kind of color it in all the, the white space around the fruits. Make it yellow. And then what I'm going to do, just to add a, another layer to that, I'm going to add a little bit of white and go on top of it, but not everywhere, just in some areas. Just to create a little movement, a little more fun. So just a little, just dab, 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 dab like this. And it's going to kind of blend with the yellow a little bit, not too much. Move fast, so that way the, the yellow is still wet. Okay, now let's think about the table. What color do I want my table to be? Mm, I think I'm going to make my table, mm -mm, just thinking about it, I think I'm gonna make it blue. I'm gonna clean my brush. Get some blue, and now I'm gonna paint side to side. I want my strokes to go side to side. What you can do over here is outline the bow. Outline the bow first. That way you make sure that you don't go inside of it, and then the rest is side to side. Okay, side to side, follow the table, the way that the table is flat. So we're doing that. Keep going side to side and painting the table. Okay, in the same way we did the background, we add a little white. I'm gonna get some white and I'm going to go more towards the sides. I'm not gonna go too close to the bowl and I'm gonna move my stroke side to side on the table with white. I'm not gonna get too close to the bowl. This kinda, it will, it will create like a shadow because I'm gonna leave it a little bit darker. So just some white on the outside. You see, side to side with white. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting my 
fruits. The bowl is going to be the last one. Let me paint the fruit that I have here, the fruits that I have. So I'll start with the back one, and that is going to be an orange. And orange is created by mixing red and yellow together. So let me mix both of those together. Oops. And always add more yellow than red. Kind of added too much red here. So, so go ahead and color that in. color my orange and then I'm going to have I'm gonna color right in here in between if you have a little gap color it orange too let's pretend there are more oranges in the bottom and then I'm going to paint these two they're gonna be apples so this is gonna be an apple And this one with red is going to be an apple, too. Okie dokie. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna add a little bit of, I'm gonna make now the purple and I'm gonna add red, mix red and blue together. And red and blue make purple. But this purple that I made is a little too dark. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of white to it, not much, just a tiny bit, just so it's more of a, a little bit lighter purple and now I'm gonna paint my grapes now at first the grapes are gonna be all kind of mushed together you're not gonna be able to see them that well individually but we're going to add some details and we'll be able to see them individually okay So just paint the whole area purple. Hopefully you still be able to see your drawing. I can still see my drawing through it. It's a little hard to see, but you can still see it. it's there. If you think this brush is too big to paint, this area, feel free to change it to the next brush, the, the smaller one, you can do that too. All right, all right, all our areas are covered for the fruit. We only have the, the green for the, for the leaf in the bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna make some green, so I'm gonna get some yellow and blue mix together and I'm gonna paint my leaf right here like I said if you want to use a smaller brush use a smaller brush because these are really large areas I can tell and for my bowl I think I'm gonna make my bowl mm, thinking about it thinking about it I think I'm just gonna make my bowl black. Let me give it a try. If anything, I'll line it up and then I'll make it gray. But let's see how the black is gonna look. I 
And like I said, you can make your own, you can pick your own colors. Can't go wrong with it. Just make sure you don't make a purple apple. I haven't seen any of those before. Okay, I'm painting my bowl. So the way I like to do this so I don't go off the line, I try to outline it first. Outline, go to the edges, make a line around it, try to keep it as clean as possible, and then I color it in. Because that way, I don't go all the way to the ends anymore because the ends are already gonna be painted, and then I don't run the risk of going outside. So I do this the edges and then I paint inside. Okay, I kind of like the black. Now it's time to highlight. All our colors are down, but now they need to pop. So since I have the black in my, in my brush, I'm just going to highlight my bowl and I'm going to add some white. And I'm going to go right in the middle here. And I'm gonna go side to side while the black's still wet. And I'm just gonna move, I'm not gonna over blend. Leave these strokes there. It kind of gives it character. And then you can outline it too, the top. Outline the top. And just have a little highlight. See? You don't want to do it everywhere, just like I'm doing it mostly like in the middle. You see? Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush. Clean it completely, take off all that black, wipe it off. See, I have a lot of black on it. Now I'm going to add a highlight on my apple. So red and then a tiny bit of white. So now I have pink and then I'm going to move it down, kind of curving my strokes. You see? So it's a little pink. And then what I'll do is I'll add just some white and then I do like a really big highlight. I'll do it again with the other one. So some pink. And then I'll get some white and just do a really big highlight. If the, if the highlight's too big, then you can make it a little smaller. This was a really big one. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, let me do the same thing with the orange. The orange, I'm gonna get yellow and a little bit of white. I mixed it a little bit, the orange that I had there too. And then I'll highlight it. Not much, right? And then I'll get some white. Do a little highlight. Okay. Okay, now it's time to highlight the grapes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the smaller brush. I think it will be easier. So let me get the purple. I have to make more purple again. Purple color. And first what I'm going to do is add a little more blue to this purple. So now I have a really dark purple, okay? So I just made the same purple but darker. And now what I'll do is I'm going to outline the grapes with that dark purple.
So I'm trying to see what I had drawn already. So it's a darker purple than what you made before. Because remember, the other one you had some white on it. This one you have no white on it. Use the small brush and outline each one of them. And remember, they are overlapping each other, so you can't really see the whole circle in all of them. Some of them you can, but not all of them, if that makes sense. Okay, now we kind of defined each grape. Now we're going to highlight it, so get a little bit of that white mix it into the purple and then highlight it since i'm highlighting everything on my right side i'm going to highlight this one on the right side too uh, i, I want to make it a little bit darker okay i'm uh, not darker lighter i made it too dark so it, this is like a light very light purple got it So now I have my grapes defined and highlighted. Now I'm going to highlight my leaf and I'm going to get some white, I mean not white, yellow and blue to make more green and then I'm going to get white so I have like a light green now. And then I'm going to highlight that a little bit and I'll probably add just a little dot of white for the highlight as well. Cool. Everything is highlighted. Now let's do the stamps. The stamps are gonna be black. I'm gonna paint them black. So make them a little bit wider on top and in the bottom make them skinnier. A little wider on top, bottom skinnier. And you can make that little line, it's like a little hole where they're in and then you do the same for the orange but it's not it doesn't have a stamp but it has that little part okay now I'm feeling I'm a little bothered by this area because there's like it's like what is in here is it a fruit what kind of fruit it, it looks orange it could be like another orange but I'm gonna make it darker so I, since I made it orange, maybe this orange is on top of another orange and this, the other orange is here. But because there's so much on top of it, it's, um, it should be a little darker because there's no light in there. So I'm just making it a darker orange in here. If you don't have this gap when you made the drawing, if, you, if your fruits are really close together, you don't have this, don't worry. But if you have little gaps, then do something add a, uh, a little darker color cool you know what I feel like I need a little tiny highlight on my stem because everything is highlighted by my stem so a little white dot here on it okay now I'm happy I think this bowl needs uh, a little shadow so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my blue and I will probably get a tiny bit of black, not much, just a tiny bit of black, just to make my blue a bit darker. And right underneath the bow, I'm gonna go side to side, get, stay really close to the bow, go side to side, and add that shadow. So what's gonna happen is gonna ground the bowl on the table. It's gonna look like it's really on top of the table and it's not just floating around it's really there so see make sure it's side to side and then you're gonna create a shadow nice oh these look delicious and healthy they are it's very good to keep a healthy diet i know sometimes we deserve a tree or two but Fruits are important. 
thanks for painting with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Now go out, go over there, go in the kitchen and grab an apple. Bye bye. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you did. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dottie Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge, on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.